So it's that time of year again, folks. As you can tell, we're going to be reviewing a lot of whiskeys over the days, and I only hope I will be able to keep up with it. Uh, but first, I guess we're starting with Jim Spriegel, 18. <laughs> Welcome to Kilco. My name is Brian, and today we are trying a scotch, a blended scotch. Uh, I, For some reason, the video I did before did pretty well, so on a different one. I think it was 12. So we're doing this to start this month off. Uh, I'm going to attempt to put some kind of content out for the next 24, 25 days, but we'll see. I have a problem getting one video out a week, so why I think I'm going to be able to pull this off, I don't know. And it's also crazy weather right now. But uh, first, let's get started. Oh. Mm. Lovely. Give us a look at the color. Looks wonderful. Definitely kind of reminds me of an Irish. I've said that a number of times lately. It's when it's that kind of golden color. It reminds me of that. But it does have this kind of orange tint to it, which I do like. Onto the nose. Whoa. This has a bit of a funk to it. But a fruit note as well. I'm thinking cranberries. Thanksgiving was a few days ago, so that's fun. Oh yeah, it's got that musty note I don't like in scotches. I don't know why. Not terrible, but it's throwing me off. It does have a bit of a floral note, though. Something smells kind of sweet and nice, but it's it's almost behind that uh, that funk I get in scotches. I think I got this on the 12 as well. Nothing serious, nothing terrible, but for me, it's something that just goes, oh, you know, my nose scrunches up because I don't particularly like it. It might just be a malt thing, too. I don't know what it is exactly. But there's something about it that bothers me. Nothing serious, nothing horrible. It smells kind of nice, but there's that thing in the way. Now on to the taste. I should mention this is 40%. This is very light. Pleasant. A little fruity. I'm getting an oak thing going on here. A little bit of pepper. Only a little though. I like it. I'm trying to make these as quick as possible this year too because I'm not going to be able to make the content unless I make it real short. So you have to pardon me for it being brief. Again, I'm just getting the initial experience. And now I'm going to hold it on my tongue and we'll see what happens. There's a little more of that mustiness to it. I want to say tobacco, but I don't know why. I don't smoke anything. I don't chew anything. More of a drying effect. It's not too sweet. This is definitely complicated. A little bit of citrus note in there, I think. This is actually a great introductory scotch. I probably said that with the other shivas, since it's a blend. Ooh. It's drying out my tongue a bit. We're going for the do I like it, yes or no. I do like it, and I know there's more to it, but I feel like this is one of those days where I'm having a rough time picking out flavors. I haven't eaten anything in hours. It's very easy to drink, though. It's actually, I didn't get any burn on the way down which is not what i expected maybe that's an age thing i don't know i get i get that with bourbons a lot and the proof doesn't seem to matter what it is there's always that s i didn't even notice as usual since my tasting notes are let's say erratic uh we're gonna go to the whiskey app that i have linked down below to see if i can get some more words out of this i would be happy to know it looks like we have both community profile and official overview the nose profile on this, 
as simple as I thought it was. Vanilla, orange, toffee, toffee, huh? Fresh fruit and dried fruits. I think I did get a fruit note, but I couldn't quite tell what it was. I don't think I'd say dry fruit, maybe fresh fruit. It's not doing a lot for me. I feel like I have to have very aggressive smelling things, like peated stuff, just to get an idea of what I like most of the time. Going for the community flavor. Old wood, chocolate, I didn't get any chocolate, oak, vanilla, spicy, honey, and dried fruits. I could say spicy, sort of, I mean, mm. Honey, I can agree with, but spicy? No. There are wood notes though, but I always call them tannins or something of that nature. And for the finish, which is something I can never figure out other than, yeah, my mouth's dry, you know, that kind of thing. It's only three on here. Oak, spicy, and vanilla. Eh. I wouldn't say that. But again, that's why I look at this stuff. For the official stuff we got here. The color, intense dark amber. No. No. Intense dark amber is something you see in bourbons. Uh, the official nose, balanced orange peel, malted barley, vanilla fudge. That's the vanilla fudge, not vanilla and fudge, huh? Vanilla fudge, touch of spice. Spice is one of those words that I haven't quite figured out where to place it. When I think spice, I think of eating spicy food. Uh, I don't think of spices technically. Maybe that's what they're talking about, though. Anyway, official taste. Medium body, marmalade, ooh, I like that thought. Dark chocolate and touch of wood. Dark chocolate. There is a bit of a bitter note, if that's what they mean. And oddly enough, that weird smell is not on the taste, so that's good. It's nice, actually, for, you know, I mean, it's an 18-year-old blend, so it's got something going for it. And as far as scotches, this is one I would enjoy drinking, just offhand. Uh, official finish long, yes. Uh, well balanced, that's vague. <laughs> Spice emanating from oak. Mm, I don't know about that. But it's nice. I mean, this is, this is a perfect kind of thing to give it to someone who's never really tried sipping whiskeys before, especially if you're, they're interested in scotch. I think this is something I would have been interested in early on. It's just something that's different and a nice sipping whiskey. But now it's kind of just, eh, it's nice, but I don't know if I bought a whole bottle of it. Uh, scotches aren't my thing right now. I started in scotches, but right now it's more bourbons and Irish seem to be what I go for. But uh, again, things are changing. I like to try everything. But yeah, I enjoy this. I, I would get a bottle of it just to have it, but I know it's probably expensive. Uh, it looks like the average price paid is around $68, $70, probably more than that now. All in all tasty. Uh, I don't have a, a decent outro yet other than the one I've been using. So, as always, live long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome. And Slopcha, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me on Kilco. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.